Hey guys, my name is Danny and I'm new to YouTube. A new tuber, I guess. So for my first video today, I really wanted to do a makeup tutorial. I had a few ideas going back and forth, but I figured I'm just going to add my makeup tutorial to the hundreds of probably thousands of makeup tutorials that are already on YouTube. This is something I've always wanted to do. And I figured for 2019, we're going to make it happen, Cap'n. I already moisturized my face. We're going to take my other eyes off. Get my hair out of my face. Alright, well, first what I'm going to do, I've got a lot of pink tones in my face. I have like a color correcting powder that I use. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yep, there it is. Do a few small dabs like that. Tap, tap. It kind of helps the powder fall into the brush. It like gets all the excess powder off so you're not putting on like a huge cakey layer. And you're just going to dab it around your face. To dab, 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 dab. I carry it down below to my neck as well. I don't like having a different colored face than my neck, although sometimes it happens. Okay, you can see that's already evened out some of those pinky tones that I was talking about. Next, I'm going to go in with a contour stick that I have. I'm gonna use the lighter one you can see here. I'm going to draw a line down the center of my nose. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna look in the mirror to do it because I, I can't do it. Trying to make this line as straight as possible because, truth time, my nose is a little crooked. It's a little crooked. Oh, so this actually gives the illusion that my nose is not crooked and is super straight. We're gonna do a little triangle up through here, get this area nice and highlighted through. You're gonna wanna put your highlighter on areas of your face that you wanna bring forward. And so we'll just do, Louis, stop crying. Louis's my dog and he's whining at the door. I always feel so tribal when I do this. Like I'm getting ready to go to war. All right, so now that we have applied our highlighter, I'm going to go in with a sponge and smooth it out. And I don't do too much pulling with the sponge, just small taps and dabs and sort of blend it into, you know, what you already got going on. I don't use foundation, obviously. I can't do it. So I just do what works for me. And maybe it'll work for you. Maybe you don't like foundation either. All right, so you can see we blended that out a little bit more. Make sure your edges are, you know, soft. You're blending this out. You don't want to still see the triangles um, in the straight line and the dots that we did. Next, we're going to go in with our contour stick. If you want to make your nose look thinner, you're going to apply your contour like closer together. If you want your nose to be wider, apply it wider apart. Um, but for me, I'm trying to fix my crooked nose. I'm just gonna do it, you'll see. Take it up. <sighs> do you see my eyebrows? They're like non-existent. I was born with bleach blonde hair and like over the years it's just gotten darker. But my eyebrows never got darker. So every day of my life I pencil those bad boys in. You can take your contour up to <laughs> your eyebrows. But I just want beautiful eyebrows. The perfect face shape is an oval. But when you do your makeup, if you're concerned about your face shape, just imagine an oval on your face. You're going to apply your contour, your dark contour, to the outsides of that oval, giving you the illusion of that perfect face. Next, <laughs> fish face. Down underneath this cheeky bone is kind of where you want to put it. And you can see I'm not taking it all the way. Mm, I, I kind of muffed that up. It should be a little lower. You kind of want it to go to the corner of your mouth. And over here I did it to the corner of my nose. You can make it a little thicker in the back here. You see that's where the line should be going. But sometimes that happens. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to take a, a little bit of tissue and I'm just going to like really push that off. I use my smaller sponge for my darker contour stick and we're just going to blend that down through the underneath of your cheekbone. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Sometimes like if you have a, a thicker jawline and you're worried about that, um, you can also use your contour stick on your jawline and draw a line down here and you can even if you want to make your face look thinner through here, let's just do it. We'll put a little bit here We'll put a little bit here. Later, I'll just go along my jawline with my bronzing powder. Because, yeah, I use the powder too. I'm just going to blend that out. Now I'm going to blend up around my forehead. I push this into my hairline. 
you might see those harder lines at first. And that's okay, it's just a little bit of extra TLC for you. Please, you want me to blend it out a little bit more? You'll be all right. All right, now we're gonna go through and do the sides and the nose. Okay, I feel like that is well blended out. And what I'm gonna do now, take my big brush. Yeah, I use the same brush, I don't care. And I'm gonna go over it with a, a light dusting of powder. Doing the same thing, just a little do 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 but like I said earlier, you might see some hard lines. This is going to soften that out. Nice and bright. Going in with the bronzer now. I use a slightly angled brush for that. You can blow it off a little bit and then just follow that line that we did earlier. Told y'all I was going to come back and do my jawline. Remember I told you I bring it down to my neck? I sure do. All of it. I'm just going to put some bronzer on each side of my neck. It's just a little bit. But I'm adding all these colors together. Go up. Oh, girls, if you've got blue eyes, make sure, make sure, make sure you get that bronzer on your temples because it's really going to make them pop. When I was younger, I sold Mary Kay. <sighs> I tried to sell Mary Kay. I didn't really apply myself. And so I got this makeup book. I was totally into it. And I read in there that natural colors, like neutral tones, pinks and browns and tans and creams and whites for eyeshadow really make blue eyes pop. I was so bummed because I love wearing like colorful eyeshadow at the time. I would say lately I just don't even put on a face because life. But I was really bummed to hear that because I love wearing colors. I used to wear like a lot of frosty blues and glitters when I was young, but neutral colors. It really is going to make that, make those blue eyes if you got them pop. And if you don't, use color, you lucky bitch. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my highlight and then I just take a light dusting of it. Bro, bring it up here. You look like a mermaid. You're going to be all sparkly and sun-kissed and just get those areas. Mm. So bright and I keep looking in the viewfinder. I'm really sorry guys. I'm gonna get the hang of it. I'm gonna get my life together. Looks good. It looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finishing spray and just it brings all of your layers out. What do we do? Correcting powder, contour sticks, the over powder, the highlighter and bronzer powder. So we have five layers on our face. Well four I guess technically. <laughs> We're gonna make them one. That's what I do. So I get my face put on, my doodle walk by. I feel like, what are you doing yourself? I'm like, I'm trying to make myself look beautiful. It's a process. Hmm. Sculpted. My next step, and if I were ever stranded on a deserted island, this is what I would take. My eyebrow pencil. You heard me talk about them earlier. The blonde. The white. They don't exist. I'm going to go in with my lighter color first. I've been doing my eyebrows the same way since I was 13 years old. This right here is where your eyebrows should start. That's fine if you want to look angry, make them start over here. You do you, boo. But right here is a good starting place for your eyebrow. Your arch is going to be sort of off center and the tail of your brow is going to be down here. <laughs> one eyebrow, one eyebrow, one eyebrow, one eyebrow. So now we got our lighter color on and then I just go through with a darker color and add some depth, some definition, some darkness. Ooh. All right. And then you just take your little, if your eyebrow pencil comes with a brush, good. You know, just kind of, sometimes you get hard lines in there and you want to kind of just smooth that out. We're going to pick a nice neutral palette, boom, for some daytime eyes. So I'm just going to get a regular old brush. We're going to use the lighter color up here on the palette. We're going to put our light colors up there underneath your brow line. So then the second color I'm going to use is a medium color. I'm going to put that on my lid. I think I'm going to go with this like nice coppery one down here. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. And you see how I'm using my neutral tones. Wait till you see these eyes pop though. I'm going to look glamorous. I'm going to be ready to go to brunch because it's the middle of the day. <laughs> Blow it out. Same brush and I'm just going to use one of these darker colors over here. I start over here and just drag it around. Seriously, just go back and forth. It doesn't even matter. See how I kind of go up here into my brow too and it gives me that, that point back here. You get a little powder, you just brush it off. 
Got our neutral tones on. I know you're probably like, they're not popping yet. Wait till I put all the black on here. So we're gonna start off with our eyeliner. I've been doing wings as long as I've been doing eyebrows. Even when I don't put on my whole face, every day, what goes on? Eyebrows, wings, and that's it, I'm done. I don't ever do my wings all the way across my lid. I taper them. So there's not like a hard stopping and starting point on the center of my lid. Oh, I'm gonna fly away. Here, just a little eyeliner stick and we'll do the underside. All right, see this, this starting to pop. Now, before I do my mascara, there are a few other highlighting things that I do. I got this and there's like this pink color here. I use that as like a blush. I already got all this shininess on my face and so I figure, why not? I take a little bit of the pink, smile, get those apple cheeks going, and I just do a little bit on my apple cheeks. Just a little bit. I'm gonna take like this lighter coppery color on my Q-tip and I'm gonna go underneath my brows. Ooh, put some highlighter there. Also, not only is my nose crooked, but my eyes are kind of close together. So to give the illusion that they're further apart, you could always apply some highlighter to the corners of your eyes. Go in like this. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I don't curl my eyelashes anymore. I used to in my younger days, but I don't anymore. But I do twist my eyelash brush around. You know, mascara is such and you need like 50 layers of it before you even notice what's going on. It's hard sometimes. Oh, another good thing. Whenever you're doing ma your mascara, you see when it pops out, it's like gloopy. Get that off, girl. Get that off of there. I do this with my mascara. And that's probably why I have to do so many layers, but it doesn't look like cakey and gross when I'm done. But yeah, get all that f***ing cakiness off there. You don't want a lot of cake on your face, just a little cake on your face. All right, now I'm gonna do that down here. Can I do it in here? No, no, I can't. All right, guys, did the underneath of my lashes. This last step I'm really excited about. This is actually, I think, a video that I'm going to be posting maybe next week. Look who I got for Christmas. Oh my God, I love, love her. Um, I love both of her. Both of her lipsticks, both of her, Colleen and Miranda. Today, I'm gonna to be using her Daisy May color. I'm gonna put on a lip liner, cause I, I, if I don't have lip liner, my lipstick goes, it looks like Miranda. Um, I'm using a darker mauve color. Lined those lips out. Then we're gonna put some lipstick on. And I will get into more next week um, when I do my review video of the Colleen and Miranda lipstick. I will get into more of how they feel on your lips, blah, 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 how long they last. Um, but for today, I just wanted to add it to my look. Take your hair down, get your bangs right. They're probably not going to be right. I had them up. It, I had them up for a while. I'm never having bangs again, by the way. I did this a few weeks ago, and I did a good job, but I'm so tired of them already. And with my hair, I've been looking like He-Man. That's what my dude said. I mean, it was in good fun. And I was like, I know, I feel like He-Man. So I've just been wearing my hair in a pony until they grow out, and I can sweep them to the side. It is what it is. Yep. Well, I hope you got to know me a little bit. I hope you tune in next week for when I review these lips. Not these lips. When I review the lipstick. And if you like my video, I upload videos Sunday nights. Click the button to subscribe. Ring that bell. Get your notifications. Yeah. I'm coming back next week with those lipsticks. Peace.